Hey, Bethel Church family, I uh, want to welcome you all to uh, this online devotional, uh, Daily Hope. And I want to dedicate this devotional on Saturday uh, as a response to the president's announcement yesterday, which was Friday. OK, and then I want to end by looking at God's word on how it can help you and me uh, navigate both times and timing uh, in a world that is changing really, really fast, okay? So if you didn't hear, uh, the President uh, Trump announced yesterday that houses of worship are essential, and he encouraged them to open even as soon as tomorrow, Sunday. Um, of course, this is great news, great, great news. Uh, Bethel Leadership, uh, we posted a response last night. You can go on our website. You can go on our Facebook page. Uh, it also uh, was an email uh, blast, and you can uh, look under COVID-19 response, I think it says. And you can, you can, you can read all of that. I stay, basically we stayed in the letter that we're excited and encouraged about this news. We're still waiting for a few pieces of information yet before we reopen. So we'll not reopen tomorrow, Memorial Day, uh, weekend, that Sunday. We'll not, we'll not open tomorrow. We're waiting really on three things. We're waiting for updated guidelines from the Center for Disease Control. That could have already come by now. We're waiting to gather this information. We're waiting to hear from our governor on Monday. He said he is going to talk about houses of worship this Monday, Memorial Day. And then we're still waiting to hear from Santa Clara County and their updated guidelines for in-person worship services. We think those, those are coming this weekend. They might have, they might have already come by the time I've made this video. But once those things come in, we feel like we'll have adequate information to, to move forward, which is great. I just want you to know our staff has been working very hard over the last several weeks talking about reopening uh, scenarios, what it might look like uh, for us. Um, but until we have that updated information, um, we really won't know what's what's required of us. Our goal, whether it's online or in person, is to make sure, to make sure that we are creating meaningful worship experiences for all. That's the goal, not chaos, but meaningful worship experiences. This Wednesday, I will give uh, an outline as to when we will reopen and then what it will look like. And both those will be really important. Okay, so that'll be Wednesday. For now, I want to leave you with a couple of thoughts uh, out of God's word, which is so incredibly relevant uh, for times of crises and fast changing times like we're in right now. The very wise and ancient king, King Solomon, made a profound statement. It's simple, but it's profound. And I want us to look at it. And it's pretty well known in Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 1. He said, there is a time for everything. And there is a season for every activity under the heavens. Time and season, sometimes they're translated the same. Sometimes they're translated both time. But he says there's a time for everything, a season for every activity under the heavens. And then he, he follows that with like 28 different times or seasons or activities. He lists all of these. But there are two big ideas that he addresses in that first verse, because he uses two different Aramaic words there for time or for season. I want to take the last one first, okay, and then I'll finish with the first one. Um, he says there's a time for everything and a season, a season um, under uh, for every activity under heaven. So first, there's a season or a time for things to happen. There are seasons for things to happen is what he's, what he's talking about. And I can give you a really, uh, a really simple example. Uh, you plant things in the season of spring in hopes that harvest brings, uh, that, that fall brings a harvest, right? Uh, the phrase here that he uses in verse one could literally be translated. Uh, there is a usual time or there's a usual season for events, for events. Well, obviously, it looks like the, the, the season for churches to open has come upon us. It's now. And I say, yea, God, I am as excited as, as, as anyone. Think about it. I have only been live and in person a whopping one time with the Bethel Church family since uh, Laura and I came and, and, and I became the senior pastor. So believe me when I say 
I'm really looking forward to seeing your eyeballs. Okay. And not looking, um, at you through merely through a screen. Okay. So I, I, I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, so the second idea in this verse is the one of timing. So there's seasons for certain events, but then there's a timing to those seasons. There's a timing. Uh, this is as much about how as when. Um, he says, you know what? There's also a time or a timing for everything. You plant in spring, but you don't plant in the middle of the day. You're not going to do that when the sun is highest. Uh, you, you, you plant in spring, but, but you also need to be careful that you water several times a day, or you may not realize the harvest that you hoped you would. Well, the same is true in our, in our lives. I always think of Proverbs 27, 14. It's kind of a fun proverb, but it's packed with truth. The proverb writer says the same one, Solomon. He says, if anyone loudly blesses their neighbor early in the morning, he says, it'll be taken as a curse. Now, blessing your neighbor is always in season, okay? It's always in season. But how you bless your neighbor and when you bless your neighbor, that's a timing issue. Well, that matters too. Well, this same truth applies to our reopening uh, as a church. The season has come, no doubt. The season has come. Just pray with us about the timing. Pray with us about how we roll out our reopening strategy for Bethel Church. Why? So it'll accomplish what we pray it will. So it'll accomplish what we want it to, which is a meaningful worship experience for everyone. And I just appreciate, I appreciate your pray, your patience, your encouragement, and I sure appreciate your prayers. And thanks for tuning in today. I'll be back Wednesday with an update. God bless.